pipe racks, rack up your pipe. <laughs> What's the, uh, the deal with that one all blowed out on the end? The one all blowed out on the end is, uh, that would be where they, where they shot it off when they, when they plugged the well. It, when they retrieved the pipe from the wells, they, uh, they get it just above cement. And they'll run a tool in it and they'll shoot it off, which explodes it, uh, cuts it off, and then they pull out what pipe's not cemented in. So with this one, it'll be, it doesn't have threads, you can't screw it into another one, so we'll cut it off and use it for a post. Cut it off into sections and make several posts. What size of pipe is over yonder on that one? Which one? What, what would you do with this stuff right here? That is three and a half drill pipe. So what's so special about it? It's super heavy wall. It's three and a half OD. Is it going to bend very easy? Not very easy at all. What would you use that for? Anything you wanted to. Fair enough. Make a sweet bar stool. Let's go that way. Bundles of pipe over for places like that? Yeah. Without threads on it? Yeah. Those are called mill seconds. Those are uh, come an inch and a half and 1.9 inch. Okay. Is that what and all they, those panels are built out of people are doing nowadays? Uh, just, it depends. Uh, some of them are doing the continuous panel with it, but not a lot of them. This is more, uh, this would be more gate material and hinge material and things like that. Just depends. And how long are they? Approximately 21 feet. 21. But these have all been cut to length for 21 feet. They'll, uh, when you get them on the truck as mill seconds, they come in in random length, 17 to 21 foot. Okay, what is that big stuff over there? It's a hole. What? It's a hole, and it's wet. <laughs> yeah. That's why you buy good boots. What in the heck would we use that for? That makes the greatest corner post ever. Just don't drop it on your toe. How heavy is it? Runs about 17 pounds a foot. Cut this to length for us and deep beam? You betcha we can. Okay. Cut it off just like the casing or anything else. So if a guy would brush the threads, can you still screw it together? Can yeah, you he should be able to, in theory. Well, I mean, if you get short pieces, you can still make a post out of some ends. Yeah. Will that ever rot out? Oh, yeah, but probably not in your lifetime. It's a long-term deal. Yeah, let your kids screw with it. It'll be up to them. <laughs> there you go. There you go. And then these racks here are just two and three eighths and two and seven eighths, is that correct? Correct. And that's just our structural yep. number one, number two. Uh, both of those are number one, and that's just the one racks of them. Oh, there's the several one. more several more racks of number one and number two running around all over here. So if somebody really likes the product, we obviously have plenty of it. Truck load after truck load after truck load. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. Or they get a good deal in one place and then that's all they have. We won't run out. We'll make sure it's covered. How long does it usually take to load a truck when it shows up here? About 40 minutes. It doesn't seem too unreasonable. No. No. As soon as the truck rolls in, we get right on it and. They're, uh, so your truck driver doesn't have anything to complain about sitting here waiting or anything like that. They're, get in and we get them out of here. Do you handle the bill of ladings and directions? And we can handle anything that, anything that you need us to. We can do a start to finish turnkey deal. A lot of our customers, they make one phone call and then their truck shows up a few days later. The, the delivery options that we have is, uh, if we need to go out to a location, where there's nobody at, there's no way to unload. You don't want to call somebody to come unload you and pay for pay for a skid steer or a backhoe or something to come unload you. So we throw the forklift on the 
back of the trailer and it goes out with the load and he's completely self-sufficient. So it mounts up on the rear of that trailer? Yep. Yep. And he he goes out and then does his own thing. He can put it on racks. He can stack it up. He can, so I, he can do it however you'd like him to. You'll send me a driver. I tell him what to do and he'll unload that for me and stack it, load his equipment and be gone. Yep. And then he's out of your hair. That's pretty simple. Yep. And that's another thing that can be done in that one phone call. Man, that's hard unloading with the tractor sometimes. Yeah, it is. That, that bucket and the fork sticking way out there. And can't pick up much. That's yeah. Forklift pick it all up. Yep. So Narrow how forks and spaghetti. How, uh, how did you learn so much about pipe and get into pipe? I sold, yeah, I sold new downhole pipe for a number of years. And we have a, uh, an oil field pump and supply house that that's how we are able to bring you the quality of pipe that we that we do. We know about it. We know what we know what goes on, good and bad, with it all. What size is this, Jared? One point nine. So what size is over there? Inch and a half. One point five. So we can get. Are these mill seconds as well? Yep. Same deal. These are mill seconds. They've been cut off to twenty-one foot and bundled up, but. So you probably use them in conjunction with the other to make gates and hinges mm -hmm. and everything else. Is that what you have yep. for? Yep. The bigger, heavier wall pipe is used for the fencing itself, and then the, then you use the lighter stuff to make gates and hanging weight. Doesn't hang as much weight off of it, and your hinges last longer. Still makes a good, solid, sturdy gate. Perfect. I assume this is probably seven inch. Yep. A little bigger round. Yep. So what do you do with this? Stick it in your yard so it looks cool. Pretty, pretty cool <laughs> I mean, I've seen some big entrances to ranches before. Do they use pipe mm -hmm. like this? Yeah. That's what you make those big, tall, pretty. Yep. And it'll support all the weight. And it supports all the weight. They're uh, you hang your ranch plant them in there. the ground a little longer and make nice, big, tall gates, and they're uh, they'll hang a lot of weight off of them. Yeah, those look good. Those guys do that. Yeah. Well, I guess it's thick enough to make a good corner, would it? Yeah, you bet. Good long-lasting corner. Build up a cement, cap it. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't go anywhere for years, huh? Nope. Back we sell weld caps for them too, so you. You got weld caps for seven inch? Yep. Really? Mm -hmm. Can you get those saddle deals for seven inch, or is that a little too big? No, that's a little too big for the for the saddle caps. It's a little too big. So you can't do five and a half. Yes. Yep. Two and three eighths, two and seven eighths to four and a half or five and a half. The saddle deals are the way to go. Yeah, they are. Man, those are handy. I mean, do you cut, <laughs> do you cut pipe to length anywhere? Is that something you do for people? Yeah. Where's that happen at? Uh, right over here in that building. Cut any size you need. Should we go take a look? Let's go take a peek. What we got going here? Uh, bundle of pre-cut posts. No, I'll be dang. Yeah, two and seven eighths, eight footers. Most people take the time to put straps on those and make it easy to handle? Not that I'm aware of. Huh. Seems super convenient. It's real easy. You we put them on pallets and you throw them on the truck and he's out of here. Look at he split. Huh. You could do some cattle sheds with that or yep. roofing do, sides. Do wind breaks, uh, shades for the summer. So the latest project that I've heard of is basement lining with them. Basement lining? Basement lining. Like on the concrete wall? Or on the like concrete wall and lining a basement wall with them. For water deflection? Or mm hmm uh, Water deflection, I don't know if there was decor in that or not, but. Well, inside or outside the house? Inside. Oh, heavy be decor, look. Huh. Yeah. So you said something about sunshades you could make with that. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen those deals at feed yards where they take the four and a half drill pipe and build those structures up by the bunks where they go up and make an angle out with the yeah. curtains? Uh -huh. nice. Yeah, and that's uh, that's a material that's a lot like this. And they use that drill pipe to do it too. Yep. Right they use the drill pipe to support the weight of it on the main post and they run tubing out to the end and cover it with this. Like some two and seven eighths? Or... Mm -hmm. Two and seven eighths or two and three eighths, whatever their preference is. Whatever suits their fancy. This thing's pretty slick. Yeah. Nice and shady. Nice and shady. Steak don't get too hot. <laughs> I see you got it set up in here where you have a rail system with like racks outside it looks like to mm -hmm. bring everything in. Yep. Well, that makes it pretty easy to do all this. And... One guy. 
Yep. So it's a pretty efficient process. I mean, mm -hmm. 100 posts, you can get them cut fairly quick. Huh? Yep. Figure rule of thumb is about 25 posts an hour. It's not bad for one guy. Mm -hmm. Yep. All one guy. How it's all long, automated. How long will you cut them? As long as you need them to. Uh, when we cut off uh, some 20 footers the other day, that was a little interesting, but well, we got them cut. Stick out there. <laughs> right through, yep. Be why anyway, we have the new square in the wall. <laughs> I see. It's really cool. Gotta do what you gotta do. That's, we didn't have a choice. We had to have 20 footers. So, we got them. Yeah, we made 20 footers. <laughs> so, we cut the posts off. They roll over here, kick off. They fall down against these, depending on the size that you get. They fall down against these, and then this is where they bundle them. They stack up nice and neat. They're sized right between the two. and. They throw bundles on them, pick them up with the forklift, and out the door they go. Now, is it true that you have a guardrail straightener? Yes, it is. Yes, we do. Really? Yeah. How's that? I suppose one? you want to see it, huh? I don't want to see <laughs> so this is a guardrail straightener. Yep. So I guess it gets punched through there, and then it does its thing, and. Yep. Are there many of these in the United States? Not that I'm aware of. There's only a handful of them that, that I know of. Would you be willing to travel with this to straighten somebody's guardrail? Oh, yeah. It's yep. Horrible. Completely mobile. Yeah, you, you don't want to truck guardrail. Truck it way out here if you're in city or something. You want to truck it way out here and then truck it back and be just as reasonable to buy new. Yeah. So you call and got a pile of guardrail that needs straightened, you make a phone call and we send it to send it to your location and straighten it all right there on site. And I see you also have a pipe trailer you can do some smaller loads on for delivery? Yep. Yeah, smaller orders make the freight a little more reasonable so you have to pay for a big truck if you, know, if you don't, up. yeah, if, if you don't need 48,000 pounds worth of stuff, then need smaller loads and we'll throw it on the truck and just deliver it to you in a pickup, a little more reasonable priced. How much weight can you carry on that, you think? Oh, probably 12, 14,000 pounds. Get a, you, get a good small project done. You also keep the sand line here, the, the 5 8 or 9 16 cable? Yep. 5 8 9 16 And then every now and again, we'll get some 7 8 and 1 inch. And you can. But that stuff usually goes pretty fast. Just stay on the ball with that. Pretty hot item. Very hot item. And you'll send it out on the spool, no problem? Yep. Okay. Yep. Send it out on the spool. We'll pre-cut it to whatever length you need. And your forklift pick up the spool okay and load it if somebody comes in after? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. 